Red Wings coach Jeff Blashill after Saturday's 10-1 loss, this team is good enough to win. We have to decide at some point, we're not putting up with this anymore. Photo, David Gurlnick slash Detroit News. Detroit players making frequent mistakes, and teammates frequently compounding the error by over-adjusting. Slow thinking. Beyond Dylan Larkin, almost no one pressing the issue much at all, anywhere on the ice. A team that must be at its best to win instead, by the players' own admission, embarrassed the organization against their greatest historic rival. After six games without a win, five of them at home, the Red Wings flew to Montreal and lost to the Montreal Canadiens 10-1 on Saturday. It looked worse a game analysis is easy to prepare, and difficult to swallow. A step or two slow, clumsy, inept, the wings were woeful. Of course, bad bounces and misfortune helped doom them. But they authored their own demise. Paul Byron of the Canadians began the devastation 522 in, after an awkward bounce left three red wings flat-footed behind the forward at his own blue line. Gone like the wind, he deftly beat Petr Mrazek on a breakaway. Moments later, after absorbing a check from the Canadians' Daniel Carr, Anthony Mantha gave the puck away. Xavier Aulet moved out of his defensive position to help Mantha. When Mike Green moved out of his defensive position to help Aulet, Nicholas Deloriers, a Canadian's forward, moved to where Green would have been. Having received the puck from Mantha, Carr gave it to Byron Froese, who found Deloriers, and all of sudden cross-ice movement left Mrazek out to dry. On one goal against, Nicholas Cronwall had trouble turning to cover and advancing on one goal. It looked like the infirmity of his knees left him lagging. On another, Nick Jensen tripped himself, the front of his skate blade toe picking into the ice. Mike Green could not seem to help himself defensively all night. He and Trevor Daly, brought on to help steady the wonky ship on the back end, were minus four for the game, Mantha, too. On the entire roster, only Jensen, Jonathan Erickson and Danny DeKaiser were as good as minus one. Forwards were continuously at least a step slow to support the defense Emin in the Red Wings zone. They never mounted a forecheck. Talent deficit obvious throughout the debacle on Avenue des Canadiens de Montreal, which I viewed on TV, the weaknesses of the roster. Despite the protestations on the Fox Sports Detroit broadcast from Jeff Blashill, Henrik Zetterberg, Nicholas Cronwall and Justin Abdelkader that there is enough talent in the room to win regularly, the notion seems dubious. It has seemed that way for a few seasons. Character brought them their last playoff spot. It made the last 20 games they played last season somewhat more respectable. An admirable trait it is especially among players like Zetterberg, Cronwall, Abdelkader, Larkin, and Jimmy Howard. But is not enough for the Red Wings to save themselves. They simply are not very good. And when they rise above and suddenly seem like they might be, they demonstrate their inability to sustain it. We need to go on a run.